just take this brief. Um, again, thanks to, thank you to uh, Melbourne City Council for um, hosting us tonight, to Jacinta and David, everyone for turning it out, and thank you to the Metropolitan Transport Forum for organising this and other uh, forums across the state. Um, Metropolitan Transport Forum obviously made up of um, councils across Melbourne. Local councils um, really just have such an essential role um, in advocating and strategising um, in promoting um, better transport in their communities and you know it's, it's critical work that councils do. Um, governments and political parties do very well uh, to listen and to heed the advice of local government councils uh, and it's work I uh, wish you the best and will continue to do. Um, as I said um, previously we are really at a critical juncture um, in Melbourne and Victoria's future in terms of transport. Uh, population growth is um, rapid uh, is potentially going to see us bigger than Sydney um, uh, in over a decade's time. The Greens have put forward and continue to put forward a clear alternative that favours public transport, sustainable transport, uh, is opposed to these giant, massive toll roads that are just going to lock in congestion for years to come. Uh, the changes that we need or the policies we will implement now uh, and over the next decade uh, are just going to be absolutely fundamental to keeping the city that we love, keeping Melbourne livable. Um, and what can the Greens do? Well, I can just put you, you're better off with the Greens inside Parliament, fighting for change, getting results, and look, if we win enough seats, potentially in the balance of power, we'll be able to deliver on a very strong position to deliver on our policies. Thanks a lot. Well